Hello fellow makers and welcome back to 3D Printed Soup. Desk fans. I needed one because my office is getting quite hot with a few 3D printers running at the same time. So I thought, yes, this is a USB fan. It's adjustable, it's quiet and it's lightweight. Ah, uh, yeah, box doesn't look too bad. It looks nice and shiny. Let's have a look and see what it looks like inside. Instructions. It's a USB desk fan. We don't need those. Packaging. We don't need those. And the fan itself. I mean, it looks fairly flimsy. And the blades look like they're made out of tin foil. That could be a problem. Right. I think 3D printing can probably fix this fan. First of all, though, let's take it apart and see what it looks like inside. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hey, click that button, subscribe, make us all happy. So I jumped onto Yegi and 3D Colts, but eventually on Thingiverse, I found a toroidal fan blade. Now, toroidal means this. And knowing's half the battle. Thanks, General Inventory Joseph. Now, let's get on and print ourselves a toroidal fan blade to make this fan a lot more fan light and basically more efficient. Let's give this a try. Right, let's plug this thing in and see how it works. Okay, I don't know if you can actually hear that, but that is very, very loud, and there's not a lot of air coming from it at all. So, yeah, um, it does neither of the things it says in the box. Let's take this apart and see what makes it tick. So, yeah, got a regular USB connection on it. And it looks like just three screws holding the front of the fan safety case on the front. So let's uh, get these taken out and see what we've got inside. And with the screws removed, yeah, this thing is terrible. It just looks like it's made out of bako foil or something you get a sort of takeaway in it's it's it is terrible and yeah those those fans are never going to ever displace enough air to actually make this worth plugging into your computer probably burns more electricity than actually it, it does um pump out um ventilation so let's take out the one phillips screw in the middle and get rid of that got this plastic thing here don't need that either and yep as i thought it's a single standard motor with a spindle in the middle and uh, a USB connection to the back to power it. Right, let's sort the fan out. So this is the toroidal fan. And um, yeah, this needs to be sanded because um, fan blades need to be as clean as possible to not disrupt the airflow. Any roughness will basically stop the fan being as efficient as possible. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and sand this down properly and get it nice and flat. And with the blades sanded, let's try attach them to the actual fan. I mean, this is a regular fan spindle, almost a regular fan hole here. I printed it slightly smaller so it would actually jam on um, tightly. Just pop that on there. And look at that. Absolutely lovely. Spins beautifully. Right, time for some artistic video. <laughs> And 
as it's a desktop fan, it seems only right to test it on a desktop. And yeah, oh, this is great. It's chucking out loads and loads more air. And because it's straight onto the spindle and hasn't got that plastic thing at the top of it, there's no scraping noise. And yeah, the noise in the background has gone. Absolute perfection. And 3D printing saves the day again, along with engineering. Huge thanks to the designer who created this fan. And yeah, the link in the description below to the file on Thingiverse. Give it a check and if you do print it, make sure you leave them a comment and put up a print uh, picture as well so they know that you've done it. Thanks so much for watching 3D Printed Soup. Stay happy and safe. Stay cool.